Today we are at um, Garvin Woodland Gardens, uh, specifically in the Garden of the Pine Wind, a Japanese style garden of about seven acres. I have uh, been involved in some aspect of landscape gardening since I was very young, but it was really on a first visit to Japan in 1993 uh, that I fell in love with Japanese gardens. In 2002, I was called in to help uh, begin sort of sort out uh, the the whole of the Japanese garden after the hardscape uh, elements had been constructed. So the site sort of naturally lent itself to have a water course from top to bottom. When we look at water used in a Japanese style garden, we can almost equate it as a metaphor for life. Where water is moving very quickly, it's when we're young and bold and making these decisions. Where we have softer, shallower parts of the stream could represent you know, our, our later stages of life. So very nicely, water has been manipulated in this um, garden, and it is always a, a partner uh, with the guests as, as they move through the garden. Two of the really fantastic elements here at uh, Garden of the Pine Wind are uh, the bridge that's behind me, this uh, full moon bridge, and uh, a bridge at the top that we call the uh, Sunrise Bridge. It's sort of a common thread within Japanese gardening that we would take uh, often sort of abundant and mundane materials and turn them into something very elegant. One of my favorite parts of, of both of these constructed elements is their use of local materials. The masonry work on this bridge was done by a local mason. Uh, this is all uh, Arkansas field stone. While the stones are not living and breathing things, we still give them the respect of a living thing. We often plant them much the way we would a plant to sort of uh, bury the lower portion of the stone so that it looks like the stone has actually come from the earth instead of just been tumbled out upon it. Another important thing to remember is don't try and, and do too much. Sometimes the essence of the Japanese garden can be revealed uh, in the smallest of spaces. Here we have a, just a natural stone outcropping with some small ferns and a really beautiful sort of layer of moss that's occurred naturally. And to improve this space, as a gardener, I would perhaps remove some of the dead leaves as they sort of remind us of the um, sort of shortness of life and prefer more of the evergreen elements within it. This is really much of what a gardener's work is. I always say that uh, a clean garden, uh, regardless of how well designed it is, is um, far superior to a messy garden of, of the greatest design.